What's up, guys? So, I'm not trying to call anyone out, but I've been going through YouTube, and um, I've been wanting to know, like, I want to know a comparison, like, like you know, the sound comparison with uh, the HBFS versus Sanwa buttons, right? And me personally, every time I go to someone's YouTube channel to watch a comparison, it is always questionable. It is always shady as fuck. They always do some fucking shit where it's like, all right, here's my Sanwa buttons, and here's my uh, quieter buttons. It's so much quieter, guys. Can you see the difference? I'm not trying to call anyone out. I'm not trying to be like, oh, my video is going to be the best. But I feel the need to do this to accomplish my goal. Like, I, I feel the need to do this. That way, I can rest knowing I did a straight-up view review of this. I'm not making any sense right now. It's 2 a.m. That It's 2.30 a.m. That's going to be my bitch excuse for bad talking. But... Let's get to this. So, this button right here, this is just a straight up Sanwa button. And this is the padded Sanwa button. And the rest of these are HPFS. This is, I'm using red switches on all these. Red, red Cherry MX switches. Because they're, I like them, you buff the bottom out all the way. And they feel the most familiar to Sanwa buttons. So, let's try the Sanwa buttons. And I'm just going to beat it up. Whatever, it's gonna be. Alright, now let's try the si silence on the buttons. Like I said, guys, I'm, I'm just trying to beat up all of them. Just so you guys know, I'm not like, oh, he's just tapping that one lightly. And this is the HPFS. So now, all right, let's be just a little realistic here. Getting quieter. Okay, I think I made my point. I don't know. You guys can listen for yourself. Now, if you want my opinion on whether you should get the HPFS G2s, I forgot to mention that these are the G2s. Okay, so here's the deal. I like to mod my shit. I like to play with things. I like to solder. Like, like look at this keyboard. It's an ergodoc. It's an ergodynamic keyboard. I soldered the thing together myself. You know, I, I like to. I like to customize my shit. Um. Am I gonna have to redo the video after that? No, the account got closed. I don't give a shit. All right. Um. Yeah, I like to mod that, and yeah, so I, I, I like to mod my shit. I, I even have this Razer keyboard that I tore apart because I don't give a shit about uh, huge-ass tanky keyboards, and I undesoldered it for cherry switches, basically. This is my... This is my box of shit, you know, Sanwa parts, cherry switches, and all that jazz in case I want to go and swap out a red switch with that. So I just like that idea. I like the fact that, um, oh wait, you know what? I'm going too far. I just wanted to say real quick, um, so the HPFS, they do sound, it is the quietest. It's even quieter than the Sanwa silent buttons and, of course, 
they are both quieter than just normal Salma buttons. But guys, um, the HBFS are only slightly more quieter than the Sanwa buttons, but they are more quieter. It's because the padding, as you can see, there's padding around surrounding here. The padding is more thicker, therefore it's more quieter. But guys, I'm telling you right now, if you go out thinking, oh man, I'm going to get this for quietness and stuff like that, um, I recommend you just go with these Sanwa buttons, man. Because, like, getting all eight buttons for this, that this shit cost me, like, seventy dollars or something like that right seventy dollars but guess what how much it costs just for this do you know how much that shit costs two dollars two dollars will get you fucking this and i'm not gonna say the website because i don't want to feel like one of those fags that advertise websites and stuff you just take a pad put it inside your song button and then boom you got a fucking quiet ass song button so if you're looking for quietness dude just dish out two dollars and you'll get this. This is fucking sweet, man. Yeah, that's Loud Sanwa, and then... Awesome, right? But this one is more quieter. Um, I like to mod my shit. I like the fact that I can pull out this cherry switch right now. That's actually a convenience. You could actually just pull this cherry switch out. You would need, like, a screwdriver. Be careful. Don't damage the cushion. Be cautious. Be froggy. But, um, you could pull this thing out and switch it with, say, a blue switch or what have you as I reach over my switches you could sw swap this out for a blue switch and go to town on it um, I, I feel like I'm repeating myself for the third time I found this purchase to be very worth it because I just love modding my stick I find it fun to swap out the cherry switches and just try out new feels for buttons and stuff like that if it wasn't for the fact that I was so fucking fond of modding I, myself, personally, would feel completely ripped off purchasing these things for quietness. I mean, <laughs> two dollars, dude. I don't know, man, like, two fucking dollars. I'm, like, so happy. I'm like, man, I'm so happy. I love modding. Otherwise, I'd be like, dude, I just blew 70 bucks when I just oh, could have only spent two dollars and stuff. Um, uh, call me a little bitch if you want, but when I do practice on my sticks uh, when I'm just using normal Sanwa buttons the recoil tends to hit my fingers and it is discomforting uh, the silence on the buttons it's not so bad and then the HBFS do a much better job at you know the recoil that you get from pressing the buttons so basically I'm just saying the HBFS are very comfortable to press on. Same for the Sanwas and the silent Sanwa buttons. And yeah, of course, pressing on these, pressing on this isn't bad. I'm just saying with like thumb and stuff like that. You know what? You know what I mean. Each one is more comfortable than the other. And if you guys are like, oh, what a bitch. Well, you can suck it. Um, am I leaving anything out here? So yeah, guys. Um, just spend two bucks on this. If you enjoy this, if you're like, man, I want more, I want to be able to mod my stick and get this. I should warn you guys, though. Um, I play King of Fighters and I play Street Fighter. So if you use, if you're using the HBFS, for example, um, you're gonna have to kind of relearn how to do the buttons, and especially depending on the switch. For example, if you use blue switches or brown switches, um, it might feel, it's gonna feel awkward for you. You're gonna have to get used to it. I'm using red switches. I plink like it's nobody's business, but when I'm trying to plink on this, I was, I was having a hard time. Now with practice, I found I was able to plink on this thing rather well. It, it, it wasn't a problem for me, but it, it, I had to practice it nonetheless. Doing hands on normal Sanwa buttons or silent Sanwa buttons, um, I was able to get it off just fine. But this thing, I kind of had to go I had to go and relearn how to do hands on these things. They're, they're just different. Um, pressing them is it feels so satisfying which is why i like mechanical keyboards that's just it's just a psychological thing pressing these buttons feel so fucking satisfying uh you know just it's just smooth and solid as opposed to sanwa i got nothing against sanwa sanwa's fucking amazing get sanwa's guys like seriously i'm i'm, I'm trying to give the most unbiased opinion i mean un fuck i don't just ignore what I just said. I'm just not trying to be biased here, guys. I love all these buttons. I prefer this one because I'm a mod fag. 
But, like, if I had to make a decision for the majority of people, silence on what buttons. And if you don't give a shit and you like loud sounds, then just go with this. But do not come out and say, oh, silent buttons, let me just get this. And uh, you know what? Let me point out the elephant in the room. A lot of people, I, I feel like everyone that makes this point, like, does not fucking play competitively or what have you. They go and say stuff like, when you're playing against other players, they can they can hear your buttons and stuff like that. You don't want them to hear that. That way, you can get this. It'll reduce it'll reduce the chances of them hearing your button presses. Yo, let me tell you something, guys. <laughs> Anyone who's like legitimately played Street Fighter on a competitive level, online doesn't count. Now what? I take that back. That probably offended some people. But anyone who has played a fighting game on a competitive level will know that, like, dude, standing around or playing and just waiting for the other player to press a button, like, anticipating that is completely going to catch you off guard. It's just like, yeah, motherfuckers pressing buttons. Okay, whoop de doo Like, it, no, you, you'll be paying attention to what that guy's doing on the screen, reading his mind and stuff like that. You won't be paying attention to the button things, yo. Yo, ultimately, no one gives a fuck about the button pressing. Seriously. Yes. If, if you're doing something like this or something like that, then the person knows that you're kerning butter for, like, a DP or something like that. So he's going to be like, oh, I better not drop this. Or, sure, if he obviously just goes like that, you'll know that he's, like, trying to go for a DP or something like that. But, like, no professional is going to, like, be that obvious or what have you guys. So don't go purchasing this for the sake of so that the other player can't hear me because guys that that is like <laughs> yes that motherfucker can hear your button pressing but like seriously guys like that that's just like overkill and trust me that that shit is not gonna fucking help you that much but hey what do i know i've only been playing street fighter for like what two months so i'm just a faggot right i don't know anything about fighting games i do know a lot about the meta but I don't know anything about fighting games. I mean, I suck at fighting games. And I only state this, that way I don't come off as a scrub. I don't want people thinking, oh, this guy thinks he's fucking hot shit in Street Fighter. I am most definitely not hot shit in Street Fighter. I got a buddy who's training me how to learn guile. But I do practice a lot in that game. Especially with the buttons and shit. I crank a lot of time. I crank a lot of hours and days. So, I think I have the privilege of saying that. Um, and yeah, that's about it. If you made it through the entire 13 minutes of this video, congratulations to you, good sir. I'm out of things to talk about. Welp. Yeah, so if you like what you saw, unfollow, don't subscribe, leave a thumbs down, and penis. Actually, legitimately, though, I don't, I don't, I seriously don't care about any of this. If you guys look at my channel, you'll notice that I like, the majority of the videos I post is just for my sister, and it's like about a dog of me doing random things, and I'm just sharing my life with you guys right now. I am just bantering. I need to stop this. This needs to stop. Okay, bye. Shit. I took a picture.